Hey there, gamers! I'm your host, Fierce Rex, and today we have an exciting video for all you GTA 5 enthusiasts out there. In this video, we'll be diving into the best graphics settings for GTA 5, so you can experience the game in all its visual glory. Let's jump right in! Before we get into the specific settings, it's important to understand the capabilities of your gaming rig. GTA 5 is a visually stunning game, but it can be quite demanding on hardware. So, this is my PC specs, and I'm gonna adjust graphic settings according to my hardware, and also explain some setting adjustments for the gamers with lower rig. Now, let's head over to our gaming rig and start optimizing those graphic settings. Head over to settings. The first setting we'll tackle is the DirectX version, in most of the cases DX11 gives best performance, but in some cases you can see inverse, well so it's really experimental. Look, but if I'm you retired. have a really old Ain't gig you should try DX10. Slip. Screen type to always full screen. And now the resolution. It determines the overall sharpness and clarity of the game's visuals. If you have a high-end gaming PC, I recommend selecting the highest resolution your monitor supports for maximum detail. However, if you're on a lower-end system, you might want to lower the resolution to achieve a smoother gaming experience. Aspect ratio doesn't impact performance so set this anything you want. And set your monitor's refresh rate here. Okay so, FXAA makes your game's edges really smooth, you can clearly see the difference in the screen and the MSAA makes it a little less smooth than FXAA. MSAA is really performance intensive for your PC, but FXAA is not that intensive, so if you have a high rig use MSAA, otherwise use FXAA. VSync prevents your screen from tearing off, this kind of tearing really is annoying sometimes, so turn it on to synchronize your FPS with the monitor's refresh rate. And these three settings, set these low to for somewhat performance boost, else just max them. And now the real settings. Texture quality setting. This option affects the detail and sharpness of in-game textures. For optimal visuals, I suggest setting it to high or very high if your PC can handle it. Keep in mind that higher texture quality requires more VRAM, so ensure you have enough available. Shader quality doesn't really affect the performance, so let's keep it max. Moving on to shadow quality. Shadows play a crucial role in creating a realistic and immersive atmosphere. If you have a powerful GPU, I recommend setting it to very high. However, if you're looking to improve performance, you can lower the shadow quality to high or normal, or turn it off with the config file. Now, let's talk about reflection quality. This setting determines the quality of reflections in the game. If you're a fan of shiny surfaces and realistic reflections, go for high or very high. However, if you're looking to optimize performance, you can dial it down to medium or low. And Reflection MSAA just makes the reflection smoother. Water quality doesn't really affect the performance that much, so keep it max. Particles quality sometimes impact the performance when there are explosions or like gun firing time, otherwise it doesn't impact that much. Grass quality really impacts performance, it can reduce your like 10 FPS while walking on grass, so keep it according to your PC specs. Soft shadows makes shadows edges smooth, it's not that intensive setting, so you can use any setting you want. Next up is post FX, which really is intensive. These effects enhance the overall visual appeal of the game. Settings like high or very high provide more vibrant colors, better lighting, and improved depth of field. However, if you're aiming for higher FPS, consider lowering these settings to medium or low. Filtering doesn't affect the performance, so keep it max at 16x. Ambient occlusion to low if you have a low rig, otherwise keep it max to get more appealing visuals. Tessellation gives more detail to the trees, but doesn't impact performance that much, so keep it max. Save the settings. And head over to the advanced graphics. These three doesn't affect that much. 
but this one really does affect, so adjust it according to your rig. This one doesn't affect as well. And this one setting is the game changer. Frame scaling is like a multiplier of resolution, you can actually decrease your resolution by this setting, the number you set here will be multiplied by your resolution. In case if I set it to 0.5, my resolution will be multiplied with it and become half, thus it will massively increase my game's performance, destroying all the visuals. Here are differences between different frame scale settings, the bigger number here the better detailed graphics you will get. And there you have it, fellow gamers. We've gone through the best graphics settings for GTA 5 to help you achieve the perfect balance between stunning visuals and smooth performance. Remember, it's important to find the settings that work best for your specific hardware configuration. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Fierce Rex for more gaming and PC optimization content. Also, let me know in the comments below if there are any other games you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and until next time, 